Okay guys, today I'm gonna try to use ChatGPT AI to try to make $485 in just one week. I've been seeing so many videos lately where people are claiming to be making thousands upon thousands of dollars pretty easily leveraging ChatGPT. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty skeptical about most of them. The whole community of make money online YouTube is full of bold claims, unrealistic earning numbers, and sometimes just plain nonsense. And also, not to brag or anything, but I'm a copywriter myself, and using these two human hands, I've made over $100,000 writing copy. And every time I read something 100% generated by AI, it just kinda sucks. I mean, yes, AI can definitely write stuff, but just not very well. Doesn't really do a good job at writing like a human. Go figure, right? But that's important because what I've learned about making money online as a copywriter is you really need to lean into the whole writing as a human thing to make money because after all, you're writing for humans. So it only really makes sense that our human spidey senses would start tingling every time we read a whole bunch of 100% AI generated copy. But that brought me to my brilliant idea for this video. After browsing what seems to be hundreds of different make money with chat GPT videos on YouTube, I came up with a little strategy that I think might work that I don't think many people are really focused on. Because from what I've seen, every video about making money with chat GPT was focused on making money easily on autopilot, 100% AI generated copy that you'd post somewhere and it would miraculously make you money, how to make money with chat GPT passively, lazily, all those types of videos. You see what I'm saying? Everyone's focused on letting AI do all the work. But like I said, I'm a pro copywriter. So I had this idea of, you know, what if I combine something like chat GPT, you know, AI copywriting with my copywriting skills to create a sort of semi-passive income stream while still leveraging AI. My strategy was simple. I'd think of 10 different blog post ideas that I thought would go viral or at least had the potential to go viral because the reality is going viral is such a you know unpredictable thing these days. So I think of 10 blog post ideas. Honestly, I'm gonna focus a lot around AI, chat GPT, copywriting, things like that. Similar to the, the topic of this video, I think of 10 different ideas for blog, blog posts. And in those blog posts, my plan is to include some numbered lists because everybody loves a bulleted list, right? So this is where the chat GPT part comes in. I would use chat GPT to create the content that I would include in these articles to compile these lists in each blog post. Basically, chat GPT would be providing the value of each blog post, the list. Then I'd use my human powered copywriting brain to write up the rest of the blog post. And in the spirit of doing things easily by leveraging chat GPT, I was just gonna keep it simple. I'd write an intro to each blog post. I'd revise and just do a quick review of the actual bullet points to make sure they make sense, there's no errors, and they sound a little bit human. And then I'd write a quick outro to the blog post. Then the plan is really simple. I'd upload all 10 posts to Medium where I'm a member of the Medium Partner Program, which means that if people who are paid members to Medium read these posts, I get a kickback. And my plan is that if I've done this correctly and ChatGPT provided some good value and I've used the right keywords, maybe these AI assisted blog posts that I've created could generate me $485 through the Medium Partner Program in seven days. Ambitious, I know, but we're gonna try it out. And why $485, you might ask? Well, since hitting 100,000 subscribers, I decided to do a giveaway and I ran a poll for it. Everyone voted that they wanted me to do a Chromebook and the Chromebook I'm looking at costs about $485. So I was like, hey, that would be just like a good milestone for me to try to use for a video like this. It would be cool if I could hit $485. It would pay for the Chromebook. Everything would be good. Although I am a little skeptical that we'll get there, but we're gonna see what happens. All right, so off to the races. The first step is to find some blog post ideas that had the potential to go viral. So for this, I decided to use a combination of Google Trends and vidIQ. vidIQ is a paid service that I use for researching YouTube video ideas, but I figure what's popular on YouTube as it relates to ChatGPT and AI, is probably also gonna be popular or at least similarly popular on a site like Medium. So Google Trends and vidIQ were the two research tools I used to source ideas for these articles. 
And I'm pretty confident in the tools. I've used vidIQ for years and a couple of the ideas I've researched through vidIQ have gone viral over the years. So I have a lot of confidence in the tool. So after about 20 minutes of typing, searching, thinking, shortlisting my favorite options, I've come up with a list of 10 blog post ideas. I quickly listed these ideas in a Google Doc and I'm gonna kind of put it all together in Medium and show you the final result. So the first one is top five best AI copywriting tools. The second blog post is three AI tools that are changing the world in 2023. Then three ways to use ChatGPT for copywriting. Then three reasons to try Jasper AI. Then three reasons AI can't beat human copywriters three reasons why mid-journey will not replace photographers, three predictions for AI tools in 2023, are AI tools ethical, three reasons why they are not, chat GPT-4, or excuse me, GPT-4 differences from GPT-3, so GPT-4 is the new update that was released in March, and then how to make money with chat GPT. So this one was actually a little bit difficult. Um, at the time that I was searching for it, chat GPT kind of bugged out, crashed. I'm not sure it likes being asked things about this, but I'm gonna try to use it to build my list for this article because I think that's a really common one people are searching for. So now that I had these 10 blog post ideas, the rest of this plan should be simple. My plan was to use chat GPT to create the bulleted list, like the key points that I'm gonna include in each blog post. And I would use that to build a quick blog post around based on these kind of viral search trends. I'm aiming for like three, five or seven points per article. Why three, five or seven? Why these odd numbers? Honestly, I don't really know, but I remember a couple years ago, I was watching like a marketing podcast and they had said that people are attracted to these odd numbers in marketing. Everyone does it, I don't know how true it is, but you know, there might be some truth in it because random little shower thought here. When I was younger and I got my first car and you had a little analog volume dial, I always felt a little uneasy if the volume wasn't exactly at an odd number. I don't know if that's just me, but it's a thing. So we're going with either three, five or seven points for each article. So that was pretty much it. ChatGPT went at it and made me all my lists. Now all that was left for me to do was for me to quickly skim each list, see if they needed any minor changes, and then write the rest of these posts in Medium. So in the spirit you know, of making money, super simple, like I just said, it's gonna be quick, quick intro paragraphs, quick outros, really just trying to lean on ChatGPT as much as possible here, um, and then have me put together just the, the rest of what would form a respectable post to see how they perform on Medium over the next seven days. So yeah, I'm gonna get these posts done, I'm gonna get them posted on Medium, and we're gonna let them sit for seven days to see how they do. All right, so it's been seven days. It's actually been a little bit longer than seven days. I'll be honest, I was sick a couple days, but I figured it'd be okay. I give these articles just a little bit more than seven days to try to make as much money and accumulate as many views as possible. So just to show you guys what these looked like before we get into the stats. So these are the posts that I put up all on March 21st. So three AI copywriting tools for you to try. This was one of them, you know, really kind of leaned into things like copy.ai, write sonic, popular search terms, three ways AI tools are changing the world in 2023. You know, you'd think this is a pretty popular topic as well. Three ways to use chat GPT for copywriting. This is probably the most search AI related search term from my YouTube channel right now. So this was one of them. Basically, these were all the articles I put. It ended up being less than 10 because some of them just didn't work out. Um, but I'll be totally honest with you, the results were not at all what I expected. And I think there's, you know, this video is going to reveal something pretty helpful for everyone out there who's currently watching these videos thinking, hey, we're going to make a killing using AI. So I wanted to go back first and show you some of my story stats. So I'm gonna share my screen here. So 
This is the back end of my Medium Partner Program account. So over the last few years, I very infrequently posted some articles. So, you know, this one did exceptionally well, how to choose the right gig tags for your Fiverr gigs. It's gotten 30,000 views. I think that one has been making me like two to $5 a month for the last few years. Great, right? You move up things you should know before starting on Fiverr that got almost 2000 views. Then you got some, you know, different topics that didn't do so well. Um, we get to January, 2022, did some more on copywriting. They were getting views. So my thoughts based on how my older articles had done on medium was these topics around chat, GPT, AI, AI, copywriting, AI assisted content generation would do incredibly well. The whole internet's been blowing up about them. Um, so I thought these articles would definitely pop off, but they didn't. And here's what I'm talking about. So the articles I put out the, over the last couple of weeks about ChatGPT have gotten, what is this, 7, 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 views total. Not great. And when we talk about how much money these articles made, here's how much they made. That's literally how much they made, about nine cents. Not great. So I think the net net of this experiment is something that I was kind of expecting. The whole idea of leveraging AI, specifically tools like ChatGPT, to automate this content creation machine that can make people money by posting content on sites like Medium, YouTube, or wherever, where there's a partner program and you can earn ad revenue, just isn't a really good sustainable business model. And, and I think the reason is pretty interesting. So for this experiment, I really wanted to try using ChatGPT in the way that most people who are trying to do these get rich quick things online are using ChatGPT. You use it to do all the heavy lifting, very light brush over the content yourself to make sure that it reads okay, makes sense, whatever, post it. So I did that with about eight or nine articles on Medium and the results were terrible, worse than articles I've written in the past myself for topics that I think were far less popular. And why do you think that is? Well, it could be that search engines are penalizing AI generated content, but my theory is that AI content just isn't that good. It's not that interesting. And you know, given that it took me maybe an hour or so to put all these together myself, it probably would have just been more worthwhile for me to write these articles myself. I don't know. This isn't the goal of this video wasn't to just totally, you know, dunk on ChatGPT or AI. That's not it. I believe in AI. I think it's very cool technology and I think there's a place for it in our future. The point of this video was to prove a point that if you're looking for ways to get rich quick and you're unable to offer value to the whole get rich quick idea you have, other than just leveraging a widely available free online AI assisted tool, you're probably not gonna make much money. Take this as an example. I spent a couple hours putting together blog posts powered by ChatGPT and the results sucked. I don't know, maybe the parameters I set up for this experiment weren't totally fair towards ChatGPT. Maybe I didn't put in enough time or effort to make the blog post better, but that was kind of the point. I didn't want to put in more time. I wanted to spend about the amount of time most people looking for ways to get rich quick, easily with chat GPT might put into these things for themselves. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a bit of a cautionary tale. AI is cool, but don't quit your job anytime soon thinking you're gonna automate this passive income influx of cash for yourself just by leveraging one of these tools. Anyways, I'm sure this is going to spur a lot of controversial comments. I'd be happy to chat with you down below. Let's have an open debate about this. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.